G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to another episode. And today we're gonna to take a look at a new feature rolling out to OneDrive and SharePoint, and that is the ability to color code your folders. Just before we continue, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, head over to YouTube and hit the subscribe button to the channel so that you do get updated with all the new content that does come out uh, through the channel there and you'll be notified. Also, if this video uh, brings you some value, hit the like button on there as well. Uh, look, it does help. These little things do help with the algorithms of YouTube, helps to get the message out there and helps me to get more reach across uh, so that we can help a lot more people using Microsoft 365. Thanks for watching. Let's get back into the episode. So not only gives you a little bit of personality, but also gives you a, a good visual uh, indication of what a folder could potentially be used for. We're just going to go through a little bit of a use case, uh, actually from uh, a scenario um, from a customer of mine that uh, could potentially use this type of functionality for their process. Now, uh, look, there are many different ways in which we can uh, you know, organize our files and there is this debate of folders versus metadata and things like that. So what I'm gonna show you today, yes, you could use uh, document sets and metadata and things like that, but we're going to focus on folders. Look, if it does work for you and this organization is a small organization and if you are that, then maybe a folder structure does work for you and you could implement something like this as well. There's so many different scenarios uh, that you could use color coding for um, and it really is up to you and your organization how you go about uh, structuring things and how you could utilize this functionality. So let's just dive in and have a look and you can see here that I'm logged in as Megan. I'm inside of OneDrive for Business you can see I've got some nice colors on my folders here. Now, you'll also notice a, a new visual refresh to the UI, all right? So we've got this add new button on the top left and this is where we go to uh, create our content. So when I go to new folder, you can see now that I've got a little bit of a, a choice here and a little color palette that we can choose from. So let's now uh, create a new folder um, for RFPs, RFP requests. And let's mark this as orange and we'll create that folder. So we can see there that new folder gets created with the color uh, that we selected. Now to change a color, all we need to do is click our three little dots and we've now got this new option that we can see here called folder color and we can then change the color to whatever we need to. Now I'm, I'm in the context here of OneDrive for Business but this also works inside of SharePoint. Now you can see I've got a quick access here to the Mark 8 Pro project team, I've got my folder structure in here. I'm just gonna to navigate to a new uh, library that's just been created called employees. Now this could potentially be a scenario where you could use color coding to give you a visual representation of what that, or a visual cue of what that folder could uh, is used for. So I'm going to use the example here of employees. Now. First thing I'm going to do is just, I'm just gonna jump out to the SharePoint site here and I'm taken to the document library directly. I'm going to go new, everything looks the same, but when I click folder, I've now got this same user interface. So I'm just going to say uh, in, uh, active employees, employee files, and we'll mark that as green, okay? So we'll mark that as active. We'll also create another folder that we will say uh, terminated employees, all right? So here we've got two folders, one that's red, one that's green. It gives us a nice visual cue as to what that, um, that folder is used for. Active, green, terminated, red. Again, from our three little dots, we've got the folder color option here where we can change uh, the color to something else if we needed to as well. All right, so now the other um, thing here, how does that flow through to Microsoft Teams? So this Mark 8 project team is actually a, um, is actually a, a Teams connected site. All right, so if I jump over to Microsoft Teams here and I'll jump into Teams, I'll jump into the Mark 8 project team. Now, what we will see, now I'm in the general channel, and if I go to new folder, um, at the moment, 
through my testing here is that we don't get that uh, color palette to create folders through the Microsoft Teams UI at the moment. I'm sure that's coming, but right now inside of OneDrive and the SharePoint UI, we can create that. Now, the other thing to note here is that the, the colors actually don't come through to Microsoft Teams either. So if I open this general channel folder inside of SharePoint, we can see that this color me folder is actually uh, color coded, but when I go into Teams, it's actually just still the same color here. So just something to note there um, that those colors uh, at the moment, at the time of this recording, are not flowing through into Microsoft Teams and also we can't create that color coding inside of Teams. So if I jump into employees, uh, what we'll see here is just the normal uh, standard representation of those folders. And if I go to new folder, again, we don't get that color coding. But in open in SharePoint, we're in the SharePoint UI here, we do have our, um, our color coding there. Now, it also flows through to the pinning, right? So we can pin these uh, and it does um, appear up the top in the pin section too. So the colors are, are there. Now let's jump into inside of a folder here. What about when we nest a folder? So let's just go here like so. Does it inherit the color? Let's have a look. All right, so it doesn't represent or it doesn't inherit the color of that parent folder. Now these folders inside that are nested inside our, our um, inside of, of the color coded folder, we can color code those specifically uh, themselves as well. All right, so new functionality coming out inside of OneDrive for Business, the ability to color code all of our folders, but also inside of SharePoint, uh, we can have the same functionality. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next edition.